Last week I adapted my Caprock system with a Profinet power module. Now my system is capable to deliver all the information I need for comprehensive remote maintenance. But do I get access to this data now? Timo visits me today to help me integrate my Caprock system into PLC Next. Hi Timo. Hi Sasha. Your installation looks great. The control cabinet side seems to be ready. So let's connect it to the network. What can I do here now? Um, what exactly can I control? What can I set? For this, I brought with me today a demonstration board to show you more deeper in detail what's possible. Um, I sent you a link on your mobile phone. Just click on it. Oh, just a second. Oh, here it is. Wait. Okay. So now you should be able to see every status of your system and also uh, you, you are also able to control your system over your mobile phone. Okay. So I now press this button here on the demonstration board and you will see I will simulate load on channel one. Okay, I see so it. The current is rising up, yeah? Um, and now just maybe click on channel one and switch it off so remotely. I switch it off. Okay, it works. So you see it's switched off. It's also switched off directly on the system. Okay. So, um, programming is a topic for experts, isn't it? Are you sure that I can do this on my own? No, that isn't complicated at all. You only need a PLC, Next Controller, or a comparable device. The controller comes with Profinet by default. Then you load the actual parameterization file into the, so into the software PLC Next Engineer. You can find it on our website in the download section of the Power Module. Then you can start the programming your components and program your own Caprock system with a Profinet connection. Wow, great. Thank you very much, Timo. Now, I always thought programming was difficult, but with PLC Next and the Caprock system, I can set up and control my Caprock system easily for remote maintenance.